What's up Slayers? So today I have four solutions for you if you ever need to have a roof mounted junction box in order to penetrate into the attic to make some nice clean conduit runs. Um, let me uh, go through them all and kind of show you the pros and cons and benefits of each one. Alright guys, first box we're going to discuss is a solo deck. A lot of you are familiar with this guy here. It's a nice metal box. It comes with a uh, den rail, ground, and a one inch, three quarter, and three half inch uh, knockouts ready to go. On the bottom side here, it has five little divots for preferred placement for either conduit or strain relief like we did here if you mount this underneath the array to just push your wires right into that box. And this box comes uh, with five decking screws, which you see I mounted in the bottom of the box here, uh, as well as four side screws for the lid to secure back on to the top of this. If we take a look at the underside here, you can see our screws and the placement of our spin on flex connector to spin our flex on in the attic. So some pros and cons of this box. Uh, pro, it's made of metal, it's very sturdy. Um, it's not going to deteriorate or fall apart on you. Uh, cons are it's very heavy. If you have to mount, you know, six arrays and carry six of these to the roof, uh, it's kind of burdensome. Um, you also have to go under pretty much three layers of shingles to get this thing properly flashed and sealed. So now I'm gonna talk about the Easy Solar uh, XL Junction Box. Uh, this thing's really nice because, nice because it's plastic, very lightweight, um, also comes with a DIN rail pre-installed as well as a ground bar. Um, it has a nice uh, area of where you can penetrate here to show you. Uh, it comes with where your screw holes go. You can also put your strain release in the sides as well as in the bottom of these things. Um, very nice box. The other cool benefit of this thing is, as you can see with the solo deck, does not need to go under three layers of shingles, only needs to go under two layers of shingles. So a lot less uh, prying of the shingles, a lot less chance for leaks and things like that. And if we go on the underside here, take a look. Penetration's about the same uh, with your four deck screws right there. Yep, so I really like this box, um, you know, between the two. I uh, prefer installing these just because they're a whole lot lighter and uh, just way easier. And like I said, uh, less obtrusive on the roof. All right, next we're going to discuss the Unirac roof mounted junction box. This one only has to go under a sliver of shingle. Uh, the, the flashing part is only about an inch, inch and a half long. Um, it just goes under, you just have to pry the shingle above it to slide it under there. And the underside has the caulking as we sh I showed you in my installation video. Um, if we open this thing up, you can see also comes pre-installed with a DIN rail. Comes with two extra screws if you need to add an extra DIN rail to the box. Um, this box can only accommodate two holes in the bottom to go into the attic. Um, that's kind of a downside of this box. Um, plus side is it's lightweight, even less shingles to have to pry up to get underneath it. Um, in this box, you can also come into the sides or the bottoms with your strain reliefs or conduit. All right, and last but not least, uh, the Rooftech Roof Entry Boot. Um, this thing's a lot smaller than the other options out there. Uh, if you need something that's a little less low, lower profile, um, this can only accommodate one conduit or strain relief going into it. Uh, if we open it up, as you can see, it doesn't use a flex connector or anything into the attic. It actually has its own bushing, and you would run your you know wires directly into that. Really good for uh, AC systems like Enphase if you want to run uh, like Romex through your attic, things like that. Um, this also doesn't need the caulk around it. That was just an extra measure that I did, um, but it comes with a butyl pad on the bottom, extra butyl pad to put under there. It's kind of even it out. And if you're on two different shingle layers, keeps it from kind of teeter tottering. Um, comes with the three roof tech decking screws. And yeah, um, very, uh, very minimalistic, low profile very easy to install and here's the underside nice big hole for your wires so guys in conclusion out of the four boxes my personal favorite would have to be the easy solar box just because it's lightweight uh, smaller less obtrusive to the roof a um, lot more accommodations for conduit entry into the bottom and the sides um, i also do really like the roof tech one however though because of how low profile and minimalistic it is if you just need to do a string or two uh, this thing seems like a really good option as well. Um, I don't know if I trust the Unirac box as much. Um, that seal on the bottom 
kind of makes me nervous. So we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna let this sit out here in some snow and some rain over the next couple months. We'll come back under, take a look at the underside of my decking, see which one of these are holding up the best. Maybe they all hold up great. Maybe they're all fine. Uh, so we're gonna find out with that um, then. And then, you know, the good old fashioned, old reliable solo deck, which everybody knows and loves. Uh, some people love, but good old fashioned solo deck. Everyone, everyone knows this one, but uh, yeah, out of these four, um, they're all really great options. And uh, just make sure you choose the right option that's best for you and your company and the job that you're doing. Peace. Keep slaying.